away. Any fish, it is the 18th of September, 2019. And once again, you know, just a million things going on. Everything is just crazy. But praise God, <laughs> there is peace in Christ, and that's just an amen. We know about the oil field bombings and all these crazy things, you know, and Iran's telling us publicly that they can strike anything within 1243 miles of iran it's just the type of thing that they will put out there for plausible deniability i'm just going to show you a video here this morning and uh, get back to the rest of this stuff later hopefully there's just so many fascinating things being given to us you guys and we'll get to it but for right now people need to remember they truly do how the United States has gotten into all the major wars. And they all involve false flags, lies, sabotage, and ships. Oddly enough. You know, ships like the Abraham Lincoln and its strike group that are deployed in the Persian Gulf. Or anywhere on the earth, quite frankly. This is how they've done it. In this video, just, I don't know how this person doesn't have more... Uh, subs and more views, but my hat's off to him. God bless him. Yeshua, my sovereign. It's a good channel name. So I'll send you a link to this and uh, check this out because people need to know these things. I frankly think that crisis initiation is really tough. And it's very hard for me to see how the United States uh, president can get us to war with Iran, um, which leads me to conclude that if, in fact, compromise is not coming, that the traditional way of Amer America gets to war is what would be best for U.S. interests. Uh, some people might think that Mr. Roosevelt wanted to get us into World War II, as David mentioned. You may recall we had to wait for Pearl Harbor. certain things turn out to be fact in history books. Our government will lie, and that lie will become a show fact. You saw, it says the facts were known. A long time, the official explanation of Pearl Harbor was that we were slugged without warning when we were innocently going about our business. Slug Say war. that we were slugged without warning is a radical distor a distortion of the truth. New in advance, that the Japanese were going to attack us, and they knew that they were launching an attack against us, and we were not preparing our army and navy to withstand Air Force. that attack. In fact, in many cases, what we were doing was even making sure that we this could is not be the attacked. only case. Some people might think Mr. Wilson wanted to get us into World War One. You may recall he had to wait for the Lusitania episode. Now, the Lusitania was a British passenger ship on its way from New York to England, 1915. At that time, England was at war with Germany, but we had not yet joined World War I. Well, the ship went down, and the Americans were told that the Germans simply sank this ship to be ruthless. They saw an innocent passenger ship, wanted to kill a lot of women and children, and so down it That's went. The Almost 200 Americans on board the Lusitania. Prior to the sinking of the Lusitania, an exchange took place between Sir Edward Gray, the British Foreign Minister, and Edward Mandel House, who was President Woodrow Wilson's top advisor. Here's the exchange of communications. Gray, what will America do if the Germans sink an ocean liner with American passengers on board? House's reply, I believe that a flame of indignation would sweep the United States, and that by itself would be sufficient to carry us into the war. Some people might think that Mr. Johnson wanted to send troops to Vietnam. You may recall they had to wait for the Gulf of Tonkin episode. The United States official declaration of war on North Vietnam in 1964 came after an alleged incident involving two U.S. destroyers being attacked by North Vietnamese PT boats in the Gulf of Tonkin. This was known as the Gulf of Tonkin incident. This single situation was the catalytic pretext for massive troop deployment and full-fledged warfare. 
One problem, however. The attack on the U.S. destroyers by Vietnamese PT boats never happened. It was a completely staged event to have an excuse to enter the war. Stated years later that the Gulf of Tonkin incident was a mistake. Once in the war, it was business as usual. And the bottom line is this. The Vietnam War was never meant to be won, just sustained. This war for profit resulted in 58,000 American deaths and 3 million dead Vietnamese. This is the level of evil we're dealing with, and there's no reason to think that this time will be any different. They stir up the absolute chaos and disruption. They throw out all these various elements that could be responsible for an attack. They've attacked us. Those ones attacked us. You know the scenario. 9-11 was no different. But to me today, the ships, the ships were coming into my mind, so that's primarily why I'm sharing this, is they just love to start wars over ships. I don't know. Anyway, I will definitely link this guy's video, and peace and grace to each and every one of you. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,